everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasenia Poisson and today I'm going to be reviewing my first box from Oh Baby Boxes. It's a subscription box specifically for pregnancy and for pregnant women. So let's dive in. I've already opened the box. I'm too impatient and too excited but I'll share with you what I like, what I don't like and whether it's something that you would like to do in the future. All right. Right away the box is heavy which always tells me that there's a lot of goodies in here. When I did a Chasing Unicorns review on my spiritual channel, Magic Moon Goddess, I loved Chasing Unicorn subscription box because it was so heavy and it always shows you a sign that there's a lot of stuff in there and I love that. Alright, so when you first open up the box, it says congratulations mama. They have their social links and that you can win a free, free box and how to do it. Right in the front, they give you, you know, like the information card of everything that comes with it. They give you a morning and evening journal ritual to write down, which is pretty cute. I wish it was like like a whiteboard material so that you could like keep reusing it. You could use a pencil. All right, so the first item that I actually opened was this coffee face scrub by Z Skin, and it's 100% organic. It tells you all the ingredients in the back, which I love, especially, you know, during pregnancy. I'm a big organic natural mom. I've always been into natural health and alternative medicine so this was really amazing to see that they had this. It's an exfoliating coffee face scrub for acne and it has grapeseed, coconut, avocado, tamanu which is an oil, tea tree, eucalyptus, orange, lemon, coffee, sorbic acid, and naturally formulated plant wax which I love as well which means that it's a vegan friendly. So I got that and I will be putting this in my skincare fridge. I have a skincare fridge over here on in my bedroom and I always put all my products in there. I just love having cold products when I apply them on and it's just really good for the shelf life of your products. The second thing that we have here from Zion Health is this deep cleansing scalp and hair hair scrub so it smells really really nice it's not open but it's vegan again my favorite because I am plant-based no sulfates no parabens and gluten free so that's really great and it's a hair scrub there is a lot of ingredients in there but I don't really see anything that is really that bad I see sodium laurel sulfate so I'm not too sure about that but it does say no sulfates no no parabens it has argan oil, aloe vera, sweet almond, and different ingredients. There is a lot of ingredients in there, but I'll double check on the ingredients and make sure to give it an okay for me. But I'm pretty sure it's it's good since it says no parabens, no sulfates, and it's vegan. So that really smells good. And I love doing treatments for myself. So this is really great, like a self-love first box, first trimester. All right, let's see what else we got. Minimo Healthy Glowing Skin, and it's this dark spot serum. Bilberry licorice and chamomile, which I've heard licorice is really great if you're getting like, you know, melasma or dark spots during pregnancy. So this is what it looks like. I really Really like the portion size of it. I love that, that it's a pump, healthy glowing skin. Let's see, it's cruelty free for all skin types and non toxic. Three for three, that's really, really great. Let's see if it has a smell. It has a um, lemony smell, I think. That's what it smells like. I don't want to smell it too much. It's probably like chamomile, but I like this. I'm not sure when you start to have spots or melasma, but I think it's more towards second trimester. I could be totally wrong, but I guess it's good for preventative measures, right? So I could start using that. And who doesn't love a serum anyway? It's really good for moisturizing your skin. And we got a bunch of this stuff. Oh, the next thing we, we have is this Mommy Knows Best. They're like little breast pads, like cooling pads and it comes with this which already the writing is off of that so that's kind of lame but you put them in I guess you could do heating or I think it's just mostly cold mommy knows best so let's see in the card cold it's a cold or hot breast therapy bags so you can do cold or hot although I don't have a microwave so I'll just be doing cold but this is really great let's see to go underneath your breast or around your breast if you're having really sore breast which I am having during this trimester. Currently, during this video, I am seven weeks and seven weeks, four days, I believe. Yeah. 
seven weeks and four days. So that's really nice to have. <laughs> the next item that we have, so, so far we have one, two, three, four products. We have this Rose Heart Blossom Hand Cream. It's a Korean hand cream. So the only thing, I have no idea if it's cruelty free. It doesn't smell too strong, but it says excellent moisture, romantic scent, smooth texture. So I have no idea. I'm gonna have to research to see if it's cruelty free, but also what ingredients it has because it doesn't have anything on it that says anything. It just says that it's hand cream. Oh, actually, it does have all the ingredients in English. On this side, it was Korean, so I couldn't see it. But it has dimethicone in it. So actually, this is a no-go for me. Dimethicone is known to have cancer properties or something like that. I just stay away from dimethicone. Should definitely look it up. So I'll be giving this away or doing something with it because I will not be using that. The next item we have is a muscle pain roll-on. Woo! That is really strong. Let's see what oils are in it. Rice bran, juniper, cypress, thyme, and clove, and black pepper. Oh, that's what I smell, the black pepper. I don't really like the smell of black pepper, but black pepper oil is actually really beneficial. This is a muscle pain oil, a relieving blend of 100 per essential oils to ease sores and aching muscles. I'm not really aching right now I feel like this would be better for like second trimester or third trimester but will be useful for the future to have on hand I don't know if I'll like really enjoy using it just because of how strong the smell is but the last item that we have here is this self-love workbook and it's a life-changing guide to boost self-esteem recognize your worth and find Gemini G genuine happiness Gemini so it's this really big book of self-help which is really cool to focus on especially like if you're not feeling well during the first trimester although if you're not feeling well you probably don't want to do any of this but it's a great gesture of self-love. I was a little disappointed that I didn't get anything like for the baby, you know, because it's a baby box, but it's also supposed to be like self-love towards the mother. But I would have loved to see things like that. And because it was my first box, it curates around like where you're at in your pregnancies. I was thinking I would get stuff for like nausea and stuff, and there was like nothing in there on that. But overall, everything is great. We got a lot of products in here. To recap, we got the Self Love, the Rose Heart Hand Cream, which I won't be using. This uh, hair bleh, 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 scalp and hair scrub, the muscle essential oil, the coffee face scrub, the booby cool cooling or hot pad, and then the dark serum oil. I do see how thoughtful this box is, although I do wish that I saw more of look at all this party string. I wish I saw more of maybe like one baby item. But overall, I would give it a, out of a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10. If you're a pregnant mama and you're looking for something, you know, to be part of your, like, your self-care or to, you know, really make your pregnancy a little calmer or if you're stressed or feeling sick, I would suggest Oh Baby. I did watch a YouTube video about different subscription boxes and this actually looked like the best one out of any of them. So I would, you know, treat yourself, mama. It is a treat for yourself. I can understand why they have a lot of beauty products in there for self-love because we cannot forget about us mamas even though we're gonna, you know, have children or if you're gonna have more children anyway I am blabbering I hope you guys like this unboxing let me know down below if you want me to continue to do this because I, I believe I will continue getting up these boxes there's different options you could do like month to month up to six months or a year I'm not sure but they also have postpartum boxes as well that is that guys like this video if you liked what was inside the box if you like the style of video and subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly and I'll see you guys in my next video.